Hi, this is Cass from LZ Cass Plays, and welcome to part 18 of my Island Dreaming Let's Play. You may recognize this lot from Muapalan. This is where Kira and Leigh got married. Uh, so I think the wedding arch was down this end. And the bar, bar and everything was up here. But this is their new house. It's amazing how it just popped up so quickly. Obviously, building schedules are less of an issue in Sulani. So credit to the person who made the house. It's Natro Mana. I will pop their name up on the screen. I'll also mention it in the description of the video if I remember. What I did was I downloaded the house and then I furnished it with Kira's furnishings and an approximation of what Leia and Carla had because when I moved them in together for whatever reason I don't know if I just messed up or if it was because the game was just you know doing its own thing we lost all of their stuff so I went back through fortunately having all these videos of things in their house I was able to you know things like the the which um towels they had and like all that kind of stuff I've done my best to make this a combined house so it's harvest fest lay is just looking for decorations and stuff let me give you a tour this is in theory i believe the front door but it's all a bit redundant because you can kind of swim up from any side oh look at like there's dolphins out there is that dolphins or is that a mermaid oh it's dolphins look at them see what wouldn't i give to have that be my view i'm just saying i'll give you a little bit of a tour so we come in the hypothetical front door We've got two sets of stairs going up. This is our little lounge area. So up this end, we've got a TV and stuff down here. We have our aquarium, which has got some new fishies in it. Uh, these are also fish that Kira found while diving. We have a fireplace. We've never had a fireplace before, but this house had one. So yeah, and I've put all Kira's art up. I've had a play with all the new frames that came with the new patch very exciting so it's the pictures actually look a bit more kind of at home I feel in this uh, in this um environment because they're not so crammed I really like it anyway we have dining room someone's left their food out that's nice little kitchen area with a grody sink man they've been not living here that long how can that sink be dirty already maybe we imported the dirt from elsewhere so yeah cute little kitchen Although the roof, I like how the roof is lower than the height of the walls, so it crops into like all your stuff. Anyway, that's fine. So through here, oh, Lay just ran past. Through here we have, it's kind of a little sort of dance room almost. So I've made this like we've got Kira's uh, guitar. I got them a new stereo because her old stereo was a bit rubbish. Put the dance floor in there. Basically, it's like a little party room. Uh, Lay, I did actually... Oh dear. He's coming to clean up. Something I've noticed about this house is that the sims are going around it through the water rather than through the house. I don't know what that says. Like, Kira, I told her she's asleep at the moment. I told her to hit the hay because she was very tired. And she actually went... Oh, sweetie, I told you to actually... Can you actually sleep? Anyway, um, instead of coming through the house, she went around the outside. I assume the game counts the number of doors or something, and it's like, oh, too many doors, and there's less doors. I don't know. They've got an external door here to the bedroom. If it gets to be super annoying, I may actually remove that door, but I kind of like it. I think it's cute. So she's currently asleep. We've got this little kind of reading room. This is the master bathroom, which is very swish. We've got another little toilet here, and then upstairs. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure he's cooking. Oh, he is. That's right, I forgot. I forgot. I had him do that. All right, he wasn't slacking off. All right, so upstairs we have a little landing area. We've got our chest table and stuff up here. This is the upstairs bathroom. And then this is Carla's bedroom. I've made it a bit more grown up than it was because she's like two days away from aging up to be a teen anyway. So, like, her birthday's on Saturday and it's currently Thursday. So I decided to save myself some effort and make it over with an eye to her teenness. Also, this rug she had in her room wouldn't actually fit with this kind of oddly shaped room. So this seemed like a better use of the space. Uh, I have given her a big girl's bed, though. And the other matching room up here is currently empty. So we'll, you know, maybe see 
anything happens. I'm just saying, you know, stuff could happen. Yeah, very cute house. The only change I should say that I made to the actual structure of the house, like the house shell, I guess, is this wall was all windows, but I didn't have a wall big enough. This was like the only wall in the house big enough to fit our mural on. And I really wanted Lay to have his mural. Ooh. I'm going to have her relax. Look, I got a little floaty thing. I never had one of those Akira's, but oh, so gross. Can she clean up? She can. She's taking the whole, the volcano wants people to help out. Oh my gosh, there's jellyfish. I've never seen jellyfish before. Like in the game, obviously. I've seen them in real life. Oh my goodness. Hello, little jellyfish. I thought they were rubbish. They're not rubbish. They're jellyfish. I think that this island is going to be a lot cleaner with me playing on it because I'm going to be like, ew, and then have my sims clean up constantly. So that's going to get super fun for everybody. Uh, so I'm going to have her do that because the island wants people to look after it. And Lay is, where are you, buddy? Going the long way around to watch TV, I see. On the bright side, he'll never run, like his hydration will always stay high. Mermen or mer people have a hydration need instead of, I think, hygiene. So they don't have hygiene, they have hydration instead. They need to sort of water on the scales, keep yourself moisturized. But if they're constantly swimming around the outside of the house, at least that won't be a problem. What I do worry about actually is Kira, because I assume mermaids and mermen can't drown right? If they're too tired and they're out in the water. I'm assuming, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm assuming they won't drown. Whereas Kira is a human and can drown. In fact, she in an alternate reality did drown once because I had her doing work and she was too tired and she ended up with an urn. Where did it go? It's gone. Did I get rid of it finally? I did try. I've tried so many times. She had an urn in her inventory, which was her own death which I found very strange. I was like, Kira, R.I.P. I'm like, but that, it's, Kira is the one that's, anyway. She had an urn for her own death. Um, so obviously she can drown. And I'm a bit worried. This is my concern with this door. If she's going to go swimming to get to bed, is she going to die? That would be pretty uncool. Anyway, I'm going to have her get up. Uh, it is, oh my gosh, it's four in the afternoon. Great. So I guess we'll have people over for Harvest Fest. I mean, why not, right? This isn't going to count as a grand meal, is it? I don't really think about that. Not a social event. Why not? We'll have like a dinner thing, I guess. Like a hey, housewarming party slash Harvest Fest slash everything. Now she's planning an event while on the toilet. This is what I like to hear when I'm a dinner party just a house party yeah oh I should tell you guys Srikumar's actually moved uh, he was as you'll know living in this house but after he and Leah got engaged he's actually moved in with her so that house is currently empty I've actually reassigned it as a generic lot so the game doesn't just move some random in because I'd like to keep it vacant I'm thinking about what to put in there I feel like Kira is doing her damnedest to make sure that only socially responsible kind of types live on this island. And, I mean, three was. She's really got her eye on that shipwreck, though. All right, can I get you to come out here and grab the meal? What do we need to do? I don't even know. Oh, that's right. It's not gold. Who cares? Uh, can she maybe give the toy to the gnome? Uh, she's talking to me. Where are you? Oh, all the way out here. In your party wear in the ocean. Mermaids, honestly. I feel like I should have invited Makara as well, but I didn't because there wasn't really enough people coming to this party. Oh my gosh, Casey actually came into the house. Where are you at, my friend? What have you done with my food? He's popped it on the ground. They always pop it on the ground. I feel like I need to get a... um like a table out there next to that barbecue. Uh, all right, can we call to meal? This is probably not gonna count as a grand meal, but that's fine. She just wants to appease a gnome and that's it. We have some gnomes over here. 
Uh, and then she can eat. <gasps> Turtles! See, this is what you don't get living on the main island. When I was on my holiday recently, I know I've mentioned a couple of times that I just got back from an awesome holiday and I got to feed a dolphin and stuff, but we did see sea turtles, but the sea turtle was on the bottom, like I think swimming just above the sand and the water was obviously nowhere near this clear because water is not usually this clear. Yeah, so all we could see was a moving disc, which it's a little ominous actually, not going to lie, but it's fine. Anyway, we're going to sit. We're going to have a lovely meal. Are we eating? No, just Casey at the moment. It's unusual for Casey to be the one that's like president Ooh, accounted for. Oh, she's eating the leftover salad. Casey, I have real food. All right, let's do it. Come on, people. Oh, not enough chairs. Oh, look at these guys. Is she? Are you pregnant? She looks pregnant. Like she's got that kind of pregnant body thing, but she's also had a toddler. Oh, we didn't invite the toddler. Does that matter? <laughs> I'm going to just check. But apparently she's not pregnant. She has date Jackson and Danica. I only knew about Jackson. Oh, maybe she just had a baby. And this is like postpartum belly. Because that's a thing. It's one of those things that I, having had a kid, I can tell you, Sadly, you have the baby and you think it's going to be like in The Sims where you go back to flat, per perfect kind of belly. And it doesn't work that way. Usually you look just as pregnant after you have the baby as you did before. In fact, true story, I was in hospital. I'd been admitted. I hadn't had my baby yet. And I walked, because I was bored, I walked into a room where they were doing, um, like, talking to a bunch of women who just had their babies. And they asked me what baby, whether I had a boy or a girl and stuff. And I was like, I haven't had the baby yet. Yeah, you couldn't tell. And I was really, yeah, it was a big belly, big belly happening. So, yeah, they and they, honest to God, thought that I had had my child because I they just assumed, I guess. So, yeah, it's that kind of a giant belly random story. That kind of a giant belly could just as easily be uh, before as after. But knowing they have three kids that we've not met, that's a bit awkward. I felt bad for not inviting them, but some of them might be babies. That could be a bit intense. Who's arguing? Strakuma and Casey. Oh, Kira. What are they arguing about? It's just a casual discussion. What? That's so strange. Oh. Good work, Carla. Oh, I forgot about that. We've got to do thankful spirit stuff. We'll thank him for coming. Uh, no, wait. We're not going to thank our adopted child. Whatever. Is she technically adopted? Adopt is care dependent. All right, done. <laughs> that was very casual over the dinner table. Hey, you. I'll look after you now. Okay. That's just occurring to me. The, these pillars look gorgeous, but they kind of get in the way when I'm trying to zoom in. I might have to take some of them out because it's a little annoying. I love how Srikuma is just like, yeah, no, I'm just chilling in my speedos. It's fine. I think he's actually getting more fit, I have to say. Sri was quite um, quite a stocky lad, I think, when we first started this Let's Play. But he's, I think, living in Muapalam or in uh, Solani in general, actually, because you swim around so much, you get super fit. All right, what are you doing, Kira? See what's happening. What's happening? What do you mean, see what's happening? What are we seeing? What did you do? What's happening? What are we all watching? I'm confused. Is she gonna... What? Okay, she just walked away. Was something happening? I just got a bit scared for a second. I was like, oh my god, Casey's not like gonna die or something is she uh, that would be really bad way to ruin harvest fest forever i mean geez thanks mom yeah all right uh why don't you take care of your bladder need uh now i was looking through carla's skills not so much with the turning up to school 
Uh, we did blow off school one day, I remember, when we took her out to the beach. So I don't know if that's responsible for this. She is still a C student, though, and she's done her homework. So we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, she'll be a mermaid soon. It'll be interesting to see what happens next. Kira's got some ideas, actually, for that. Uh, she wants to have a talk to Lay about. In fact, why don't they do that now? Where is he? This house is giant and it's hard to find my sims. Okay, she wants to have a... We'll kiss him because they're newlyweds. They can't keep their hands off each other. That's not actually what we're doing, though. She actually wants to talk to him without Carla being nearby. All right, so since Carla's nearby, we're going to do this. Maybe some of that. And practice that. We're waiting for Carla to leave. Are you going? She's going. And our event just ended and everyone's leaving. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming. All right. I'll do reveal deep secret. All right, Lay. I have an idea that will hopefully stop Carla from wanting to basically take off as soon as she's a teenager because there is a very real chance of that happening. It's partly the whole... What, did I talk about handcuffs when I'm pretending you're talking about a child? That's not okay. Um, yeah, the plan... Here's the... Stop singing, it's horrible. The plan is that we are going to get her like a puppy or something. Because Kira's sort of wanted an excuse to get a dog for ages, let's be real. She is a dog person. And having moved to Milan Palam does give Carla a lot more opportunities and also lay a lot more opportunities to swim because there is nowhere to go from where they live that doesn't involve going through the water. So Kira's hoping that that will appease Carla's desire to return to the sea. And she's also hoping if... Because the thing is, Carla's, Carla loves lay. But Lei could go with her. So from Carla's point of view, she's like, well, let's go then. Kira has already said, look, if you guys want to go out, you know, on a trip into the ocean and be mermaidy, she could deal with that. She doesn't mind if, you know, they go off for a few days or whatever. But, and she's got a boat, but she's not a mer person. She can't full on go with them. And Carla, Kira's not sure if Carla thinks that that's kind of a free pass to just start nagging her brother as soon as she gets a tail to be like, let's go, big bro, you promised me. Um, but if we get a puppy, that'll give Carla something else to be attached to on land that isn't Kira or her school friends, and it makes her much more likely to want to hang around. So it feels a little bit, I don't want to say manipulative, Oh, they're good friends. It's not intended to be a manipulation thing because, let's be real, Kira wanted to get a dog anyway. But the goal is to try and make Carla see that mermaids are half human. Like, they're half land and half sea. They can't be all sea and they can't be all land. So somewhere like Sulani is perfect for them, basically. That's the goal. Oh, look at these two. Where are the gnomes? Oh, that's right. They were over here. Uh, appease the gnome. Harvest Fest was awful. Oh, I tried, Lay. I tried. Oh, well, you might as well go back to bed then. Uh, so he's going to go to bed. She's going to go to the bathroom. And then go to bed. She's put herself to bed as well. That's great. All right. Well, I'm going to skip ahead to the morning. Get... Um, Carla and Kira, I think Kira's got work, get them off to work in school. I'm going to get Leia a job. Alrighty. I'm going to have Kira work from home. I haven't done that for a while because she maxed out her career, but all right, Carla, can I just get you to take a quick shower, go to the bathroom, and then it's probably going to be time for school. She's cranky because her alarm went off. I mean, I get it. That is a real thing that happens, so... She's apparently going to go downstairs and use the tub in her big brother and sister-in-law's room. I think I might have called her stepmom before. I honestly can't remember, but sister-in-law, effectively. Uh, yeah. It's hard not to think of Lei as Carla's parent because he has had to parent her, but obviously 
with varying success. She's a bit of a wild thing. So um, that's actually something Kira can relate to, but at the same time she wants to try and help Carla to become more, I don't know, how would you say it, become, grow up to be a balanced adult, I guess. Uh, so survey ocean wildlife and take samples. All right, now another thing that Lay suggested to Kira in relation to the whole uh, puppy thing was that they actually should do it today because today's not Kira, not Carla's birthday. Carla's birthday is tomorrow. We could do a separate birthday present for Carla tomorrow, but if we make it a, hey, as a family, we're going to adopt this puppy, Carla's less likely to feel manipulated, I guess. Um, and Kira's agreed to that. So, cause he knows his sister. So I might actually have them do that. I'm just going to have her do her work from home stuff. Carl. And when Carla gets back from school, then we might adopt that puppy. So, oh, he's sad cause he had an awful holiday. Seriously, you're crying about that, about the holiday lay. Really? Really? I mean, okay. If that's what you need to do. All right, so she's going to school. I assume she's just going to walk out the door and then disappear. One thing I was pondering with the ga Gagnons, Gagnons, I don't know how you say it, Daryl and his family and their three children is that perhaps Kira could try and convince them that they should move out because they're currently living in the shipwreck, which is not a great place to raise a family. Where is it? It's over there. Yeah, it's really shabby, shabby place to live. Yeah. So maybe she could convince them to move, you know, move to her old house or even Lee and Carla's old house. They're empty at the moment. I mean, just saying. So she might see if she can become friends with them and sort of pressure them to move out. It's not that she doesn't want anyone to live on Muapalam except for this family. Oh, no, Lee, stop. Stop. Stop it. Both of you. Ah! Taking that away. It's not, it's not that she doesn't want anyone else to live on the islands. She just would prefer it be people like Makoa or Fui Fui, you know, people who get the islands. Um, because she doesn't want the volcano to explode and kill us all. Frankly, I think that's fair enough. All right, where does, here we go. I'm going to do Diver because I think, although he'd be very good at it. Uh, definitely not Fishman. I'm going to have him get back on lifeguard because that was originally my plan for him. Uh, what time? I think 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. All right, Carla's come home. She did her homework without me even asking her to, which is nice. And now she's just having a little bit of a chill in the water, in the rain near the house. This is the fishing spot, which I can't imagine we'll ever use because of the whole mer people thing and mer people liking fish. These two, I think... They're having, what are they chatting about? Oh, Daryl and his wife turned up during the day when Kira was out working and Leigh was off actually cleaning up the island a bit. And they turned up for the welcome wagon and there was no one here and then they got mad. So, yeah, that's great. Leigh's just chilling on the bed. All right, I think, I don't know what's happening. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Are they going to woohoo? Was that? Oh, is this the problem? There's a gnome. I think they were going to woohoo. There was a gnome in the way. So that's nice. Also, I hate gnomes that continue firing off after Harvest Fest. It's really glitchy and annoying. All right, so we need to get Carla to come home. And I'm going to add them all to a group. Is she, hang on, is he not her caregiver? Right, we'll fix that now. Right, I'm going to form a group. I'm going to add everyone to it. And then they all need to have a bit of a chat about this whole puppy situation. All right, so we're going to hug her. Oh, she's sick. Give her a cuddle. Tell her an unbelievable story. Uh, Lay, you are not. No, no. Absolutely not. Come up here. Use your younger sister's computer. We're going to order her some medicine. And then we're going to see if she would like to get a puppy. All right. Purchase medicine. It arrives via the... Oh, why has he got fish? Where did he get fish from? 
Okay, well, I'm going to... Rare fish. All right, I'm going to resuscitate them by putting them in there. I don't understand why he has fish. Anyway. Unless it was just... He did... Oh, he was cleaning up trash. Maybe that's where they come from. Um, all right, he's going to... All right, uh, ask about school. And... I'm just looking for something that is approximate to, hey, do you want a dog? We'll just hug. That's fine. Kapow! Dogs are awesome. Kira would be more, for those of you who are thinking Kira's maybe being a bit hypocritical about the whole pet thing, Kira's more zen with the idea of a dog than a cat because dogs are a lot easier to contain. Either way, whatever pet they get would absolutely... Oh, no, thank you, Blake. Would absolutely be spayed or dissexed or whatever because she doesn't want a sort of unneutered animal potentially making babies everywhere. Uh, so I was thinking a dog. I don't have my first pet stuff, so we can't go for something more low impact, like a, I don't know, hamster, whatever. Drink your medicine, child. Household? There we go. All right. Uh, adopt. Doggo. I'm very excited for this, you guys. Well, I think Kira is very excited for this. Lay is probably feeling slightly apprehensive. <laughs> See? Apprehensive. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, you may pick up to three pets. Then they come over and we look at them. So, the Cocker Spaniel Puppy. Oh, tofu. Oh, a greyhound named Tofu. Oh, I love them all. I love the interior we're here too. I'm just saying, not going to, but we do want to get a pup, not an adult. So I think that rules out this bottom row. This dog's name is Squee. I'm tempted to get it just for that alone. These, I think, are all pups. So we're going to ask them about this one. Tasha. So Riley, Tasha, and Tofu. The Akita. Italian Greyhound and Cocker Spaniel. All right, so they're the ones we're going to choose. <gasps> they're here! Uh, all right, Kira, you are the best judge of character here. So come and do the friendliest introduction to all three. This one's Borky Mishavo and Borky Tofu. Oh, is he aggressive? That would look like the aggressive uh, thought bubble, which isn't great. All right, Carla, you need to come in here as well. Oh, now this one looks aggressive. Active, vocal, and playful. Vocal, aggressive, and adventurous for Riley. And jumpy, aggressive, and independent for Tofu. I really wanted Tofu, but not going to lie, having an aggressive dog on what we're treating as a kind of conservationist estate thingy, not great. So we're going to come over here and do a friendly introduction to Tasha. Yeah, these two are being aggressive at each other. And it's a shame because my money was on tofu. I love the idea of a greyhound. I mean, Cocker Spaniels are cute, right? But yeah. Oh my gosh, everything is broken. Can I get you to repair some stuff, Leigh? Thank you, darling. Oh my. Hey. Hey, little one. Oh, he's crying. This house has got a lot of stairs. That's going to be a problem for a puppy. Puppies can't use stairs. So potty training it is going to be an issue. Offer friendship. Uh, give treat. Uh, talk to. All right, so just going to double check. Uh, active, vocal, and playful. I can deal with active, vocal, and playful. So I think that's definitely going to be the way to go. Who's that? Oh, that's the adoption agent who's also in his swimmers because what else are you going to do here, right? Uh, are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes, we are. Um, I forget their surname. Kira's surname is Ingman, but I can't remember Carla and Lays. I'm going to just put Ingman for now. 
um, and we'll go from there. I am going to change the first name just because I had a uh, short-lived Let's Play that I did where the main character's name was Tasha. And that feels weird. So, mini. Angel? Probably not. Monka. Aiko? All right. Sandy. Sandy it is. I love how he just tried to pick this dog up and it growled at him. Sorry, but not interested in aggressive doggos. So this is Sandy, you guys. Sandy. Also, the color is kind of appropriate. So we're going to talk to Sandy. Get to know. And we're going to give a tree. And we're going to pet. Did he leave and leave his dogs behind? How do I make them go? Naughty. No. She's feeling very annoyed. Probably at these dogs that came just keep barking at her. Naughty aggressive doggos. Request a song. <laughs> and I am the note of this beautiful song by this beautiful little sausage doggy named Sandy. I'm going to end this part here. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.